Well, we're back here at Phil's. And we're picking up coyote number 28. Down there along the uh, creek. And uh, that's where we caught the mangy coyote there quite a while ago. But anyway, we'll get down there and get them dispatched. This one. That's a flippant timber wolf. Is it? Well, it'll be nice to get them up here and look at them. Not to be <laughs> first. That'll be a first. That's a flippant timber wolf. Well, you might have got one, eh? Earlier? Well, last last year our big epic day was. Oh, yeah. nobody means this year. This year we haven't <laughs> seen those. That's a flippant timber wolf. <laughs> you guys can come down. Oh, why? Oh, you don't have <laughs> Aren't you going to cut them loose? So the big tracks we saw were from this guy. That, is that where he come in, Marn? I'm thinking. Well, that's what I'm wondering what those other tracks are. Unless he's been around and just... Like he's coming in from that way and fresh. He yeah. hadn't been here. He got caught like probably last night this morning. Ever dark. Okay. So we got a bunch of snares right here. Uh, we caught a coyote here. Uh, that was coyote number maybe 23 or so. And uh, anyway, that wolf come in, he followed the bank, dropped down and then we got him in that snare over there. But you can see the track here compared to my hand. A little smaller than Bigfoot. A little <laughs> smaller than Bigfoot. <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna uh, continue on down and check a few more snares, and then we're gonna go back and take a look at them. So there's, uh, looks like at least one timber wolf come up through here. But over here we got ourselves a nice little red fox. In fact, that wolf went back and I wouldn't doubt he tried circling. So this is just a snare that was set right here. A bunch of brush and on the other side of it is our main bait pile for back here. The coyotes and the foxes were using this kind of as a back door to get into the uh, bait pile. Got himself wrapped up in the brush here pretty good. A little froze, so he's been here a minute, and it's a male. Oh, yeah. A little bit of a strawy color, not the nicest red, but we'll take him.
yeah, he it's quite gray colored. <coughs> Dark gray, charcoal. Not a nice one. Hey? Not a very nice one. Wow. Look at that head on them. You see, you can just tell the difference, eh? Look at the dark color, eh? A lot of timbers, eh? They're black. And that guy, yeah, he was good. Scrawny looking. Yeah, he's not very furred. Female? Yep. Oh. <laughs> the little one? Does he, he look so small? So yeah. Um, and they eat so many chickens. Yeah. You, you ask. Oh, you're talking about the fox. They've eaten a ton of our chickens. Why? Chickens and rabbits. How much do you think? 72. Yeah, they're all 72. Yeah. I don't have scales, so I've, you don't have any at all? You need to get a set. Good they're thing so you didn't go by the creek. Are they? Yeah. Who else oh. wants to try and lift them? Oh. <laughs> no. It's so bloody. The back. Backlegs? Yeah, just like I was doing. I get to hug his bum? <laughs> okay, are we counting to three? One. No, you just lift. One okay. Two, three. Is he off the ground? No. no. <laughs> Nowhere near. <laughs> How about pull, now? Pull, Is pull. he dripping blood on my boots? No, oh. <laughs> Nowhere near your boots. He'd have to get his head off the ground. His head wasn't off the ground? Well, you we did get it, but then he snowed his back down. There was a quarter inch of air for just a split second there. Yeah. Good gravy. Yeah, he, he has, has a huge... Yeah, we tracked him before we found him, so... Was he on a drag? No, 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 but like we've seen the tracks. Yeah. Ooh, so you're like... Oh, yeah. yeah. What time is it? You ever been involved with any of this kind of stuff before? 10 to 10. 10 to 10, Mark. Yeah, 10 to 10. You better get... Alrighty, guys. Well, we made it back to the garage. Um... As you guys seen, she's a pretty good day on the line. Definitely a lot better than it's been uh, for the last uh, couple weeks. But uh, anyway, we got this guy, this girl I should say, hanging up. Nice, uh, real dark, real dark. Um, huge feet on her. Like, huge. <laughs> I don't think the camera does it justice, to be honest. But uh, anyway, um, it's got a little bit of a, it's, it's just missing its guard hairs just a little bit. There's some guard hairs there, but missing a little spot there. Uh, but otherwise, she's in not too bad shape. Not the nicest looking tail on her. But uh, anyway, I'm going to skin her up and... Uh, I'll probably leave the claws on her because uh, I'm going to give it to dad. Uh, we're going to get it tanned and we'll just, uh, dad will keep it as a wall hanger. So anyway, that's what uh, that's what will be happening with, with her. Uh, I don't have any scales. Uh, I'm going to see if maybe I can get the bathroom scales and uh, try and weigh her on that. But yeah, this is definitely by far uh, the darkest... Uh, darkest dog I've ever caught so anyway nice big head on her nice wolf so good to get her out of there especially being a female um, just means less uh, less young ones this uh, this spring so definitely a nice uh, adult mature wolf and uh, 
Can't forget about our little red fox. So, and then uh, Dad and I just got back. Actually, we uh, we went out with the snow machine and checked the foothold line. Dog was barking last night across the creek, and I figured, oh yeah, right on. We got probably a fox over there in uh, one of the hay mound sets. And sure enough, this morning we went out on the snow machine and checked, and. Uh, that's what we had, was a fox in a foothold. Keyword had. He ended up uh, busting his leg off, and uh, there was about six inches of leg still in the foothold, and uh, no fox. You could see where he, uh, the drake got caught up in the fence there, and um, anyway, yeah, he must have snapped his bone, and then of course just the skin's hanging on. And uh, he got away, so you could see where he booked her across the field there pretty good and through the fence and across the road and into the neighbor's property. So there was quite a bit of blood at the, uh, at the catch site um, where he originally busted his foot. But, I mean, it's hard to tell, especially in the snow. It always maybe looks kind of like more, more blood than there actually is. So, you know, whether or not he went up there and died somewhere hard to say but anyway we're gonna hope that he's okay ish and uh like i said to dad well if uh we catch a three-legged fox to this year or next year or further down the road well we'll know uh we'll know where he came from but uh yeah so that's unfortunate um i had just actually made that hay mound set up two days ago so it worked good, but not good enough. So, anyway, um, thanks for coming along there with us today. It's always nice when we uh, catch some animals. So I'll probably get this uh, this wolf skinned up there tonight. That fox is uh, pretty froze, so we'll probably hold off on doing it. I'll just uh, spend this evening working on that wolf once everybody else goes to bed. So we'll. Uh, get her done up and uh yeah i think that's about it so today is february the 17th so it's looking pretty slim there for getting coyote number 30 um let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking uh what we're <laughs> sorry what the debate is, is whether or not this wolf counts as coyote number 28 or wolf number one. Um, my dad and my brother, and I think my sister, they kind of feel like this should count as 28. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. So you guys let me know what we should count this as. Whether we should count it as coyote number 28 or... Uh, or wolf number one so anyway let me know in the comments and uh, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button make sure you guys are friggin subscribed to the channel because boys you don't want to miss any content goodness gracious okay guys till next time ciao